Every August, the best Pokemon players from around the world travel to compete in the Pokemon World Championships, along with the 2023-2024 Pokemon TCG season already starting. With League Challenges and League Cups, the excitement for Pokemon has never been higher. In today's video, I will be diving into my top 5 decks for the Pokemon TCG World Championships. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Alright, let's get into it. Already hopping into number 5, we have Lugia V-Star. Lugia has been a top contender for quite some time and continues to perform at a high level. Archaeops is its engine which allows you to power up some of the most powerful attackers in the game like Tyranitar V and Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. Regan Retzloff was most recently able to take down the Fresno Regional Championships, solidifying this deck still as a top contender in the format. Heading into NEIC, it was still able to place in the top 8 with Justin Brothers getting 8th, however, there was only one other Lugia in the top 32, myself placing 19th. Here is a list that I have constructed. With Paldea Evolved, it got even stronger with cards like Iono and Jet Energy being added to the list. It has a relatively decent matchup spread and does especially well against Lost Zone variants and Urshifu VMAX and Teleon VMAX. However, this deck does struggle against decks like Gardevoir, and if you're not able to get out Urshifu VMAX against Duraludon, that matchup can become very, very difficult. Overall, it's a solid deck, and I think we'll see success at the event. Alright, let's hop into number 4. Heading into number 4, we have the deck that Cyrus Davis was able to use to take down the 2023 North American International Championships, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, and Talion VMAX. Heading into NAIC, players thought that decks like Gardevoir EX and Lost Zone Toolbox were going to steal the show, but it was actually Cyrus's Rapid Strike Box deck that was able to take down over 1,800 different players. Here is the list, and I think Cyrus nailed it on the 60, so no changes to this list from them. Rapid Strike Box is a deck that is built around using Octillery's Rapid Strike Search ability to be able to pick and choose Rapid Strike cards to use, which oftentimes depends on the matchup. Sometimes you'll be focusing on using Italian VMAX primarily, and some other matchups you'll be focusing around using Urshifu VMAX. The versatility and ability to morph into almost entirely different decks is what makes this deck so strong as of right now. Cards like Metacham and Radiant Alakazam will aid in manipulating damage on the board, creating crazy multi-prize card turns. This deck really unfortunately does struggle to decks like Lugia V-Star and can run into issues if players know exactly how to navigate the barrage of damage counters that will be hitting their board. So I think it makes a good choice, but not as good as it was for NAIC. I think at NAIC it had a very large surprise factor, but now people know how to play against it, so there's going to be no surprises. But I think it still makes a very, very strong deck heading into Worlds. Alright, let's hop into number 3. Alrighty, hopping into number 3, we have Turbo Moss Box. This is a deck that relatively underperformed at NAIC, but I think is going to have a huge showing at the World Championships. Although decks that do well against it, like Rapid Strike Box and Give V Star, still exist in the metagame, I think that it has incredible consistency and aggression that will carry it through some of its harder matchups. No deck in format other than Mew VMAX really has the ability to just win the game on the first turn, and a turn 1 Dragonite V or Raikou V is nearly impossible for most decks to deal with. Here is a list that I've constructed for the deck. Similar to Victor Ung's top list from NAIC, I think this deck should make waves at Worlds. Luminion and Ultra Ball serve as great tech cards to help in hitting turn 1 Dragonite and 3 Vacuum is amazing in the Mirror Match, decks that play Path of the Peak, and so much more. I really like this deck and as long as you can dodge the difficult matchups or just hit turn 1 Dragonite or Raikou e, you can truly beat anything. Let's hop into number 2. Alrighty, hopping into number 2, we have Arceus Duraludon Umbreon. Simplicity matters and this deck is one of the most vanilla, yet consistently performing decks in the standard format. It's one of the best cards ever printed in Arceus V-Start with its incredible Starbirth ability and Trinity Nova attack allowing you to set up Duraludon VMAX or Umbreon VMAX. This deck has surprising versatility and Duraludon and Umbreon provide great matchup coverage in this format. Duraludon VMAX is great into cards like Lugia V-Star and Rapid Strike Urshifu or Inteleon, and Umbreon VMAX is amazing into decks like Mew VMAX and Gardevoir EX. Here is the list that I've constructed for this deck. 
I've decided to include Box of Disaster as it makes it much harder for Gardevoir to win that matchup, and I think it is a more difficult tool to avoid than cards like Panic Mask, which saw play in Christian Labella's top 8 NAIC list. Taking solid matchups to most top decks in the format, I think it is a no-brainer play heading into the World Championships. Its only downfall is the Argus Giratina matchup is very poor and it can struggle in the early game to consistency problems. Other than that, it's an amazing choice and can beat anything in the format. However, there is one deck that is ever so slightly better. Let's hop into number one. Hopping into number one, we have none other than Gardevoir EX. This deck has it all. Consistency, an incredible comeback engine in Iono and Reversal Energy, early turn aggression with Rare Candy, and the ability to beat any deck in the format. Seeing players increase counts of cards like Panic Max, Box of Disaster, Path of the Peak, Lost City, and more in decks is telling on just how powerful Gardevoir is right now. Everyone is trying to beat it, and the deck still continues to perform incredibly well. Here's the list that I've constructed for the deck. The goal of this deck is to use Curlia's Refinement in Radiant Greninja's Concealed Cards abilities to draw through the deck, opening up incredibly powerful attacks with Shining Arcana Gardevoir and Zacian B. Other attackers like Cresselia provide great utility in matchups like Lost Zone Toolbox and the Gardevoir Mirror Match. This deck has it all and can truly beat anything in the standard format. It without a doubt is the deck to beat heading to Worlds and deserves this number one spot. That's going to do it for the video today. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you see me at Worlds, I will be competing. So make sure to say hi when you get the chance. Thanks for all the support as always. And I will speak with you again soon. This is SmartTGG. Peace out.